Hi boys and girls, uh, I got the question to make a video about the resolution about the widget scaling and here it is. I hope this will help. I want to show how I made this and um, I thought it's a perfect chance for me to improve my English English speaking. So here's my new tutorial, really spontaneous. First thing I wanted to show is the scale box and here you see how I do a canvas panel. That's really helpful because you can uh, put their stuff inside really free and it's depending on the screen resolution so it's not uh, using the pixels, it's using the uh, the um, yeah what I talked about, my English knowledge, it's missing the word. It's using the proportions maybe. And then I used the scale box. It's really helpful to do like text that has to be uh, always in the size and cause we can't see now something yet. We have to add it to the level. And yeah, it's a bit boring, but I needed to do it, so here I go in the level blueprint and then I I can talk about the future now. I'm using the event begin play and create the widget I just created called tutorial and then I add it to the viewport, surprise surprise and then it's appearing in the level. Super nice, super nice. And the reason why I do this is because I want to show how I love you. And you see scaling up and down perfectly. And now I want to show the next thing is you can use a button. Really helpful. I think you know. And a button can have one parent and one child sorry one child so I add there a scale box and in the scale box I can say it's scaling to the sides so it's fill and then I use a little padding but be careful padding using the pixels so um, but then it looks nice it have a fixed um, fixed offset to the to the borders <clears throat> and yeah now I show you how you can order these buttons that they have the same size so I added a horizontal box and there I add my buttons inside and, the, and then when you choose fill they are filling the horizontal box, super amazing. And yeah, then they have the same size, so you can there also add a value that one is bigger than another. So when we have this, and we do not want to have a gray button it looks shit, then you can simply choose in the style panel an um, image, here yeah, this for example, but there you can see it perfectly, so I chose the hand. Oh my god, what's this? It looks like crap. And how to avoid this I show you how you can choose a size box a size so the, the same setup like like just before and <clears throat> first thing is to add is a scale box and Again, it's filling the whole horizontal box. Then I add a 
scale, a size box and there we said that the width is all written and the height is all written and then we add our button and the, then we see oh nice and the button has now a size that it want to have because of the size box and then it's it stays in the same it stays perfectly super nice super nice and here we see also in the game it looks everything really good so now let's come to the next point and we had for example an animation it's and uh, we add a button we want to animate and uh, I want to show you some helpful tips for animation that they also stay in the in nice and in the screen position therefore I put it in the on the screen and then <clears throat> okay I give a new name and I call it button appear super nice because the button appears at the beginning of the game and then I am animate I can animate the um, position like the transform but yeah I will show you why this is not perfect when here when I press the animate key and I want to animate it that it's coming into the screen super easy and at the beginning of the play it's playing the animation then surprise surprise the button appears but when you scale the window yeah it fits perfectly but when you when the button disappears again or is not visible at the beginning then there might be some annoying things like here we have another screen resolution and the button appears in the screen like 50% and that's why it's pixel based <clears throat> and then we have the possibility to also animate the answers that's cool because it's um, it's using the the screen not pixels and then when we animate these arches and look at the result but it I was a bit slow sorry so there it is I have to reset the position Because it's looking weird at the moment. Yeah. I reset here the position. Compile, save, try it out. And it's working. The animation does not look perfect, but you can uh, correct it. So here this was my video i hope it was helpful and have a nice day